<laughs> said Edmund to Edgar in King Lear by William Shakespeare. I'm sure we've all heard of Shakespeare, whether it be a casual reference in conversation or when the teacher shakes him out during a lesson. <laughs> we all have a rough concept of who he is. Full name, William Shakespeare, 1564 to 1616, well known for his dramatic plays and poetic words. Gifted writer died young. But the big question is, are his ideas still relevant? Has the wheel actually come full circle? I suggest that, although the old English can make Shakespeare's scenes seem outdated, they are relevant to today. He is a large part of our popular culture, and we always benefit from studying genius. Themes like, some arise by sin and some by virtue fall, from measure for measure, are rel relevant and relate to our experiences that life is not a meritocracy. Technology and person's thinking now dominates modern society. But we forget the role that Old English and Shakespeare's works played in our world. They critique society, so why can't they benefit us now? His works teach us many ideas still relevant today. For example, The Merchant of Venice deals with the concept of greed, money lending, the demand for payment, whatever the cost, and the plea for mercy. But an even more important theme in that play is racism. In Shakespeare's time, a way back, whenever there was an economic plight in a nation, Jews were frequently blamed. His plays are unique windows to issues that are common all over the world, such as racism. It wasn't just Shrek, but Shakespeare who popularized all that glitters is not gold in The Merchant of Venice. He is a big influence on popular culture. Now, did you know that Disney's The Lion King shows many thematic resemblances with Shakespeare's Hamlet? It's amazing how his work of 1599 time travels so well. Scar, the antagonist in The Lion King, kills his brother in his evil scheme, just like Hamlet's uncle Claudius kills his brother so he can accede to the throne. Not only films, but music also links to Shakespeare. Back in 2009, Taylor Swift released a song called Love Story, referencing the tragic Romeo and Juliet. Common phrases such as brave new world, dead as a doornail, and jealousy is a green-eyed monster are all Shakespeare's. And then there are the knock-knock jokes that began with the play Macbeth. Knock-knock. Shelley. Shelley, compare thee to a summer's day. <laughs> Finally, studying Jesus is beneficial. In Hamlet's words, there's nothing either good or bad, but thinking makes the deal. Finally, oh sorry, humans always follow in each other's footsteps. We like to be successful, we like to strive for excellence, but we, we also look up to the geniuses in our lives. They inspire us. Take Einstein for example, he's a famous person, right? Not just because of his neatly polished mustache, but because he actually contributed big ideas to our world. The same with Shakespeare. We tend to think that we can only learn things from modern people, but in reality, we learn a lot by studying historical geniuses. Without famous composers like Mozart, Bach, Beethoven, and many others, music may not have evolved into what it is today. Shakespeare influenced our world hugely, not only with what he did, but with what people took and created from his creations. Now, I'm sure you'll all agree with me that Shakespeare has made a huge impact on modern day society. We may not realize it, but the themes from his plays are relevant and relatable. He is an influencer on popular culture, and studying geniuses is beneficial to us. However, the 420 year old existential question remains relevant to be or not to be. Woohoo!